Yeah, one. All oh, right, we'll go on three, two, one, go. But you count it, so then I get it right. Because if we both count right. at the same time, it's gonna be. It's gonna be a nightmare. Okay. Uh, it's not three. gonna be synced up on your end, but it will on mine. As long, yeah, as long as one of us is saying yeah, three, okay. two, one, go. And... That was great. That was pretty good in terms of claps. Uh, I think that was, I think that was okay. Um, hello, hello, viewers and listeners from close and afar. This is episode. This is an episode. Two, I think this is one forty-three. Hundred and one. I don't know. Do you think it's 101? No, I was saying 201, maybe. I thought you, we were a little oh. more established, but... Okay. I guess we're meeting in the middle. <laughs> yeah, I guess. So you think just doing... if you The more podcasts you have, the more established you are, basically. Joe Rogan. I love that guy. I have yeah. more respect for you the more podcast episodes you've done. <laughs> so Joe Rogan has probably the most respect you can give to a man. Yeah, I co-sign everything he says. That was a joke. Yeah. That was a joke, everyone. That was a joke, Rogan. <laughs> this Joker um, Rogan. <laughs> the Joker Rogan. You want to know how I got these muscles? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, if you can't tell, I'm. There's a guest. There's a guest here on the podcast, folks. We've got YouTuber, Twitch partner. Yep, it's true. PS5 owner. It's not in my. Uh, my brother took it up to his room, so I can't show it. But I can promise you, I have one. No. Um, okay, it's a little less impressive that your brother's just kind of moving it wherever he wants to, but it's all good. Yeah, I, uh, it's, um, it's it's Nick. Nick is not green. Is on the pod. He's oh yeah. He's also my uh, editor for my, my brother. He's also my brother for my gaming channel. <laughs> um, yep. So yeah, thanks for coming on the podcast. Of course, I could make the time. I don't have any <laughs> other. No one else has invited me to their podcasts. Hey, I have a question. Okay, sure. (laughs) This is my this my podcast now. I guess this is your. It's my question. Why? No. Why you have me on the podcast? I I want to ask because you had you have you can get people like Hank Green. So I'm confused why you. Well, that's your brother, right? That's my son. But yeah, we're like you have the same last name. Yeah. So it's. I well, I I was too nervous to get you on, so I was like, well, I might as well go for the little boy first, the son, and then maybe he can like give a, maybe he can be like, dad, 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 the podcast. That's is actually a lot of what fun. happened. I was making food. <laughs> I was making food, and I got someone was tugging at my shirt. He was like, yeah. dad, dad, and I looked down, and Hank was Hank looking up. <laughs> t- he's two and a half feet tall. <laughs> yeah, and I was like, yeah. oh, I'll check out the episode. It was the first episode and the only episode I've ever watched, and I mean, it was awesome. Yeah. And so I wow. said, hey, you know, this it's is it. Funny, it's funny because on that episode, he talked about his son, which is interesting. Yeah, my grandson. Because he's, yeah, because Hank is two feet tall and he's a little boy. You should see his son. He's <laughs> can barely see the guy. <laughs> he's six inches tall. I love that kid. <laughs> um, well... It's a, this is gonna be a chill. You you know what a podcast is, right? It's like sort of like mm. a chill, like chill, like sort of yeah, vibe. I, we're gonna we're gonna give like our anti vaxxer opinions. Yeah, I've seen Joe um, Rogan. Mm-hmm. Um, so I guess we could talk. I mean, how we met each other. I want to talk about that. I think it's an interesting story. How we met because because you you made. I remember you made a video for. Danny first, right? Yeah, yeah. You, uh, you made a video. You, you started at the video. top and you kind of worked your way <laughs> down you once way. you start. Yeah. You don't get the attention you want. And you say, yeah. okay, fine. Here we go. I'll go down yeah. to the next guy. He's got the most subs. I get it. You move down if he says no. And I sort of, uh, and then you made one for me as a so, sort of backup. Yeah. As a sort of uh, worst case scenario, if you will. Uh, plan Z. <laughs> yeah. I guess. Um, and then I was like, okay, yeah, I guess this is a... This is a guy that um, that I could make videos for me, and then you made you edited the one episode mm-hmm. video I had because I I didn't have time and I was stressed and I wanted to die, so that was like very nice of you <laughs> that you helped me that <laughs> month. Um, but yeah, it's also very funny because I was ta- I was talking to Danny about you when I like hired you to do the um the episode video, mm-hmm. and he was like, "Oh, that I think that guy made a." <laughs> 
a TikTok about me. And I was like, yeah, that's how I found him. And then he said that, like, you, like, said that you knew where he lived or something in the oh, video. Oh, yeah. And he got, like, creeped out by <laughs> <it>. <laughs> Which is really funny. Yeah, there were a lot of people that, uh, the subreddit for, for Danny's, uh, for Danny. <laughs> for Danny's Danny, yeah. For Danny's Danny, they, certain people got very upset that I made that video. Because they were like, oh, actually, yeah, they were like, you're threatening Danny and like and like they got in a big fight with like all these other people. Like I just kind of watched it melt down and then they ended up having to like lock the post on his subreddit because <laughs> no. some guy oh, was no. like some guy was like, you threatened Danny and his family. And I was like, I thought Jesus I just Christ. I just it was a joke. I was just messing around. Uh, right. And the only reason I knew the general area of where he lived was because, like, a year or so back, he was, like, looking for an intern or something. Was it an intern? I don't right. know. It was, yeah, I think it was an assistant or intern or something like that. And he said, like, the general area that he was looking for, and it was the town that I lived right. in. So I was like, he's probably around. And so I just – I. <laughs> I tried to make it really general, and I was just like, and I wasn't even living there at the time. I was living in Nashville for school, but I was just pretending <laughs> I lived there because I wanted him to be like, "Oh, this guy lives close to me." <laughs> so you're lying. It's I'm all a liar. A, yeah, you're a pretty much you're a, a chronic liar. I'm pretty much free. Chronic. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's really funny. It's a yeah, it's like public info that was there that you were using, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> and like, like, hey, yeah, how dare you? I didn't sleuth or anything. I don't know how to do that. I'm no doxer. Right. But it's uh I thought it I thought it was very funny that you know, you aimed for the big dog and sometimes you get the the little pup. And that's fine. <laughs> a really and little now, pup. Now yeah. you're you're starting a uh, friggin' gang in my SMP and it's and it's <laughs> it's kind of fucked up. I didn't I'm know I didn't know you knew about that, but that's fine. I didn't uh Honestly, doesn't it was barely anything. I don't even remember. I uh, <laughs> just a small part of my schedule. Not a big deal yeah, to me. Yeah, so so busy. Obviously, dude, hustling got going on. Yeah, hustling, man. Yeah. Let's talk about the grind. <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah, I've been, gr- dude. You ever you ever grinded like straight up? Oh, trust straight me. Straight up style. I, yeah. Oh no, I've not I'm not straight up style. No. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you'll. I feel like you'll get there one day. You know, if you got, you just got to keep grinding. Yeah, I, <laughs> and, I'm thinking about it. Yeah, I actually was gonna. That was a topic I wanted to talk about. You seem like. Do you like? Do you ever like get a good night's sleep? Because it feels like I feel like <laughs> do you have so many things that you're doing all the time. Uh, yeah. Everyone tells me that they're like, "Do you sleep?" I get. Eight hours of sleep almost every night, but it's just because I sleep. Oh, that's great. I sleep in very far, and my body cannot handle. I'm just not one of those people that can like, sl- like get five hours of sleep and function throughout the day. Right. Like, last week, I I had to wake up to go to like breakfast with someone, and I got six hours of sleep, and I got back home, and. I tried doing like a little afternoon stream and I was just half asleep the whole time. And then I had to take like a two hour nap after I just have yeah. a week. I'm a weak man, but, uh, um, I feel that. Yeah. I was, yeah, I think that's pretty evident, but it's all good. I do try to, huh? Yeah. I think you were talking. I think you were about to say something. No. Oh, yeah. Never mind. Okay. So I, as I was saying, um, I just can't shake what you just, what I just heard. <laughs> I simply, uh, <laughs> I have to revisit. Um, but I wait. I wake no, I, up, and I I do work a lot. But I still have to get sleep, or else I'm just like, yeah. I th- I think I just have that initial feeling of like I don't want to, I don't want to lose what I just what I just like worked right. really hard to get, and <laughs> yeah. I don't know if that'll end anytime soon. I feel like maybe yeah not. Or that's I don't know. I think that's it's interesting because I felt. I felt like that for like a very long time. I still feel like that, but I feel like the amount of work that I get done in a day is like drastically like decreased. Yeah. I, over the years, because just because like I don't know, maybe I'm just getting old or something. But like I don't know. I just feel like when, especially when it's first, it first started like growing. Obviously, you just want to be like, well, I if I stop doing everything all the time, I'm gonna yeah. everyone's gonna forget about me, but. I don't know. I think as time goes on, you sort of simmer mm-hmm. down a bit. But who knows? Not if you're a freaking hustler, bro. 
Not if you're a grinder stand up style. Wait, straight up yeah. style? <laughs> stand up style. <laughs> if you have a stand standing desk. I've yeah. always I want a stand up desk so bad. I've always wanted one. Or like one of the ones that I was really? like, in and like it like everything is like r- yeah. rises up, but I just always wanted one because I feel like I'd be able to like move around and feel like True. I don't know. Maybe I'd get sick of it and I'd just be like way down like on it. it. Yeah, it'd be sick. I feel like it'd be sick for like forty-five minutes, and then you'd be like, "Man, I just, I just want to sit down." Remember chairs? <laughs> Those were yeah. awesome. Let's go. Remember not standing on your fucking <laughs> legs? Those are great. Yeah, my when I worked at an office, my boss got a standing desk, and he, oh boy, he did not shut up about it. He was telling everybody. He was like, "Yo, you gotta get one." It's like, well, it's up to you. You buy the desk for everybody. So yeah. You can't just tell me to get that, dude. You um, gotta get this desk for the workplace. This yeah, whole it's like, no, I can't. <laughs> no, I can't. You're the one who buys the office supplies, <laughs> sir. Don't tell me what to get. I mean, they are dude, like you should get a bigger office for everyone. Dude, you should try this. My office space. It's huge. You should try it out. <laughs> no, yeah, you I should get a corner office. office. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to you. I think. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, I love I love sitting down. That's the best. <laughs> but hustling, standing up style is good. But but I just don't have that money. I think sta- I think stand up desks are like really expensive, or at least the ones that are. I, I guess they're probably as much as a normal desk, but the ones that rise up and down are really expensive. Right. Yeah, because that's like a whole. That's that's like full friggin' science fiction. That's out of a sci fi movie, you know. That's like hydraulic table that goes up and down. Yeah. Yeah, that's not. I don't. I don't. It's kind of spooky. If you're, if you're, a, I think if you're a comedian, you need a stand up desk. Like that's uh, sort of the rule. Yeah, man. Uh, yeah. So how long? How much longer? We're 15 minutes in. We got another. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're. This is a. You're in for the long haul, this man. Could be I'm a sorry. Mini, uh, some shorter episode. Maybe an exclusive. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe this could be like a. One you don't put up, maybe. Yeah. The, this could be like a secret one for just no one. Yeah. That'd be good. A podcast, but it's just, you just talk to your friend. Yeah. I'm not recording. It's just, I'm sort of against that. Oh. Uh, That's like my New Year's resolution. I'm like not recording anything. Oh, like any more at all? No, I haven't been all year. Oh. I could have sworn I saw you yesterday rage quitting. At Walale, <laughs> I don't know how to say it. The... It's Walale. Okay, <laughs> put some put, put some respect on it, man. Walale, I dare you. Is it okay? I know you did. I remember watching this video. I remember watching this video. Um, yeah, and I did. I, <laughs> That's good. I did tell you I enjoyed it a lot, but <laughs> but I know this is gonna sound disrespectful. All right. But I yeah, and I know you did more. You said, you did, but. <laughs> I know you did twenty times more research than I did. Not a little uh-huh. more than twenty. I didn't do any research. But I <laughs> feel like there's got to be another game out there that's not that that won't take you five five hours th- in three weeks a day, three weeks and five hours a day mm. to get the world record. And like, there's got to be another game out there. Yeah, I'm. Sh- yeah. Hey man, I know. <laughs> <laughs> like it cannot be that hard to, to get a. The thing is, okay, dude. The thing is, I w- had that thought too. If I was like, yo, if I just find a game that has no records, yeah, and then I just play it, maybe it takes an hour. Where's the fun in that? What type of video is that? That is so. There's no conflict. An there, easy right? video. <laughs> exactly. That doesn't take you three weeks and five hours. A yeah, day. and sure, would have that would that have saved me a lot of stress and time and uh, yeah, absolutely it would have. But you're, you're a hustler now. But now I'm yeah exactly a straight up style. I had to hustle it straight up style. <laughs> yeah. And and now look at me. I my record was beaten two days ago. So it doesn't even matter. Didn't a second person beat it too? Yeah, someone beat my <laughs> record by like twenty seconds, and then the person who had the record before, who I beat, came back and beat the record by like he beat my record by like forty seconds, which is fucking crazy. So how did you even? But get, actually, did you even get close yesterday? Uh, no, <laughs> I I did not because I haven't I haven't played in like since that video. I was wondering. So it's I was like. like there's no way. I mean, I, not to, <laughs> not to knock you, but you were like, no, I get it. You were on the grind before, and you beat it by one second. And I was like, you took a break right. for a month or so, and like, 
<laughs> you're you're yeah you know you need- for some reason i was like i just thought i was gonna be able to just because like maybe like the atmosphere was just gonna be you know the the freaking maybe the chat was gonna be hyping me up you know um Don't- and never and bet on a it. twitch chat hype you up <laughs> they suck <laughs> well the hype train was going man we yeah. were on the hype train and it didn't even it came to a, a screeching halt because I, I i couldn't beat my fucking record yeah but i messaged him afterwards because i rated him after my stream oh yeah because he was streaming also um and then he, i messaged him after and he gave me he gave me the strats he gave me the strategies to uh to go my time down so i'm gonna do another stream that's good. The str- uh, they seem like it seems like the speedrunning community is like a lot. They're nice guys, you know. Yeah, because it, it all they want to see is just the time go down and down and down. Yeah, like they don't want to just. It's just not about being like like having a number one spot is sick, but it's like cooler to like figure out ways to get it lower. Like is what they um, believe, not you. You're just trying. You just want you want to have your yeah, record. I'm saying. I'm saying this. Uh, <laughs> Jake, edit this out. Uh, but I, I just want the number one spot. I hate all speedrunners, man. <laughs> I hate them so much. Yeah. Um, yeah. Just kidding. Keep that in. Um, but what was I going to say? Oh, dude, yeah. Because I need to start streaming it more often because this is, you know, this takes a lot to admit, but I applied to be a Twitch partner last week. and uh, <laughs> Look at this and, guy. And uh, they denied me. They oh, denied me yesterday. Oh, what? <laughs> No Isn't way. that so fucked up? <laughs> I know. Oh, man. I'll read you the fucking email, dude. It hurts so bad. It was like one thing after another, bro. It was like my record got beaten. Fucking. It was like so much shit happened. And like one after that. And then I get the email. I'm like, okay, this will be it. You know, at least one good thing yeah. will happen today. And then I look at it and they're like, hey, bitch, you're actually not an epic. You're not epic enough. Well, look who's oh. still on top, I guess. <laughs> I'll read you me. what it says. And I'll okay. I'll be honest uh, with you though. I got denied my first time too. Um, but I oh, would have really? expected you totally to get it because I think the reason I was denied, and I'll look up what my email was to see if it's the same exact one. But I think the reason I got denied is because my growth happened so fast that they were like, "What that like what what strings is this guy pulling? Like, there's no way he uh, he's they legit you were, like, hacking yeah. or something." But then they then I applied two weeks later. And then they almost, they write like right away. Well, I sent him an email and I was like, hey, this is why the growth happened. I'm a freaking right. famous YouTuber now. Have you heard mm. of me? And then they said, okay, we'll right. take that into consideration next time you apply. And then next thing I know, I applied two weeks later and then they approved. But read your Dang. read your email and I'm going to see if mine is the same yeah. one. It, it says, uh, okay, we're unable to offer you ch- your channel a partnership at this time. It looks like you've been doing well with your channel, but that <laughs> you haven't been actively streaming in the last 30 days. We'd like to see frequent and consistent streaming activity from potential partners. Uh, in brackets, 12 unique days in a 30-day period, which averages out to three times a week. We encourage you to stream more often and apply back again in two or three weeks. And I thought I was streaming a, a boatload. I was doing two times a week. I thought that was huge. <laughs> you should but try. I guess not. You should try like seven. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Don't do uh, it, please. Uh, <laughs> that seems like a nightmare. I mean, a little more than seven. <clears throat> I've been doing. Excuse me. Yeah, excuse you, man. Um, mine says. Well. We mine says we would like to observe your channel's growth for a while longer to ensure that you can maintain your current trajectory. Most other oh, aspects geez. seem healthy, so we definitely encourage you to continue broadcasting great content and expanding your audience before reapplying in two to four weeks. I said okay. Maybe maybe they just maybe all of them are like that. Like no one ever gets it on the first try. Cause maybe they just want to like test the yeah. water, see if you're actually like about it. You know? They're like, was this guy legit? Yeah, is he actually mean, or is is he just in it for the freaking freaking cash, you know? Which like, and honestly, dude, <laughs> that's all I give a shit about. I mean, yeah, me too. Jake, how does just that out? The, just just the cash. Jake, keep that in. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I have the final say. Jake, make my face full screen on the podcast. Make it all no. me, but stretch, but no. stretch the original uh, width <laughs> of my video out so I'm really wide. <laughs> Jake, turn turn Nick into a goose. Jake, put one of those Snapchat filters on my face that makes me look like the Joker. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Um, well, Make me the Joker, also, yeah. please. Just can we both be the Joker on the pod? Gonna be the Joker. Um, the thing, the funny thing about Twitch is like once you become a partner, since the affiliate program is a thing, like you don't get that much stuff out of it, and they make it seem right. like you do. I mean, the stuff is worth it. Don't get me wrong. You want to be in my yeah. position. You get a check mark next <laughs> to your name. It's the one. It's yeah, the one place massive. that I have a check mark and you don't. So like. Oh fuck yeah! You're right. <laughs> I mean. Um, Damn. Yeah, and this is uh, but this is the f- weird thing is they they say one of the things you can do is negotiate your your split of like the pay because usually they take half. Amazon takes half of your subscriber money, so you get a five. Right. There's a little finance lesson in streaming for those back at home. You get five. Mm-hmm. You pay five dollars for a subscription. A subscription. A proportion. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Amazon takes half of that, so you get two fifty. Yeah. So it's like, what are we doing here? So they're like, oh, it's you get like, to negotiate your pay. Yeah. And some people around around town say that, like, you know, some people like your bit, the big dogs, XQC, all those NBC, right. all those guys up there. ABC. ABC. Yeah. <laughs> CNN. Yeah, um, yeah. They they get like a maybe a 70 30 split or something and you can negotiate. Wow. It. So I message Twitch. Once I become a partner, I say, hey, I don't know where to apply to negotiate my terms because i want my money right i don't want 50 yeah. 50 anymore obviously i'm gonna ask they email me back and they're like um oh they're they're they say the partner can't like negotiate their terms twitch has to reach out to you about negotiating your terms i was <laughs> what like the hell? then it's not a negotiation you're just offering me more money and why would they do that yeah how is that fair I think the only time they do that is if it's a huge creator and they're afraid that they're going to move to a different platform. So they're like, here's more money. Right. So they're, so you need yeah. To be... Yeah, that's not negotiate. That's not the definition <laughs> yeah. at all. <laughs> I was like, what? I mean, I, sh- it was, I think that's on me for ex- expecting Amazon to know anything about negotiating. Yeah. Right. They're always, they're not looking out for the little man, aka you, because you're tiny. You little should tiny see my man. son. <laughs> <laughs> his grand, his son. Uh, how tall are you actually? I don't know. I'm like I'm five eleven. Oh, nice. More like five ten and three quarters, maybe. Right. Yeah, I'm five nine and uh, five nine and three quarters, probably. Okay. <laughs> so probably also. Probably also. Okay. Um. Okay. Do you, how about okay? Actually, this is actually on topic. Kind of speaking of. You know, hustling, rustling, and money. I'm gonna show you a video. You've probably seen the video, but I wanna. If it's about hustling and money, talk to I've you seen it. the video. <laughs> I've okay. seen every video about hustling. And money. <laughs> yeah. Name a video about hustling and money, and it's uh, I made it actually. I'm yeah. the author of said video. Um, okay. How the fuck do you do this shit? Okay. Sharing screen. Sharing screen. Sharon I'm... Osborne. All right. Can you see that? Yes, here we go. All right, we got... Oh, this is a Daily V. This is the Daily oh, V. Oh, my gosh. You, are, you, are you a fan of the Daily V? I've seen one Daily V episode that I made a video on, and that's the only Daily V I've seen, but I would I will say that it did change my life, so... I think this is going to be awesome. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Well, there's f- there's over it. 500. There's o- there's over 500 of them, so I think you you'd respect him a lot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Cuz how many of the what had, are we on 249 149 148 episodes? We're at like 405 or something. Jake, change the title of the podcast to 425 <laughs> to 5. Jake, show me this guy's balls. <laughs> Put uh, him up on the screen. <laughs> Ball <laughs> Ball cam. Um, okay, so this is uh, this is a daily V from our our good our hustler king, our hustler uh, a hustler messiah Gary V. Mm-hmm. Um, and this is uh, uploaded on September fourteenth, twenty nineteen. Um, so it's an older one. Yo, he had five hundred in twenty nineteen. Yeah, what is he at now? So he, I mean, there's no way he's, he's doing, at like. Is he still doing daily V's? That's absolutely ridiculous. God. Daily V. Gary V is one of the f- like funniest people in the world to me. <laughs> like I've, it. 
I continue to just be baffled that, that he is a person, and I love watching his, him talk and just being like making fun of him. He's genuinely so fun to watch. I actually found out about him through a Jake and Amir video. Oh, like, really? Like years, years, years ago, one of their early ones. He, there was like one of their first like collab videos, and it was with Gary Vaynerchuk. And I was like, "Who is this guy? He's kind of funny." Um, <laughs> but he's he's a nightmare. Okay. But we're going to watch this because it's probably my favorite Gary Vee video. It's top five Gary Vee moment for sure. Yeah. It's so much more like easier to say like, oh, it's just perspective. But like on the daily when things are happening and I don't know, you're in the middle of doing something, let's say for your business. Who's, who do you love the most in the world? My family. Good. Who in your family? Pick one. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> you're very politically correct. <laughs> You're very politically yeah. correct. <laughs> That's politically correct. Dude, does, he, does he know Don't be that, such a snowflake. Does he know what that means? <laughs> he heard it once and he was like, uh, you're very, he says that to everything. Yeah. Like literally once a day, genuinely sit there for five minutes and make pretend one of them got shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Why would he say that? Isn't that insane? I can't believe he said, <laughs> he said it so graphically. Gen- Gen- look, genuinely sit there. sit there for five minutes and pretend that they just got shot in the face. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over that. <laughs> Why would he say it? You could just say generally <laughs> pretend one of them died or maybe like yeah, a car or moved crash. away or yeah. something. Even they're just not there anymore. Look at his face right now. He's gone full Joker. Oh. Yeah, <laughs> this is his origin story. I can't believe he genuinely sit there for five minutes and pretend one of them got shot in the face. Yeah, bro. Like what? I don't know what that would. That would just I make me sad. I don't know what that sad. would even do. Yeah. Okay. He goes on to explain like his reasoning. So. <laughs> Let's let's see let's see what the V's got. I'm being dead serious with you. Every <laughs> single day, I almost I said this today earlier. I probably once a week to four times a week sit there truly in the shower on a flight when I wake up. Some people meditate. Dude, I cannot. This every time this happens every time I watch one of his videos. Like I cannot. I cannot take him seriously. Like, the way he talks and just, like, handles himself. He's like, it's, I'm being dead serious. <laughs> no, I'm being serious. You think I'm fucking joking? <laughs> pretend I killed your parent. Pretend I killed your kid. I killed your kid. He's like, okay. imagine one of them got shot in the face. No, no, scratch that. Pretend I shot them in the face. Pretend. And don't pretend, okay? I, I shot-, shot your son. <laughs> <laughs> your mom? You said it was your mom? Yeah, I shot her in the face. <laughs> yeah, I shot her. Oh, you said your dad. I shot. It's all. I shot him too. <laughs> Bring him out. I killed your whole family. <laughs> Bring him okay? out on stage. Yeah, they wheel him out in a wheelbarrow. <laughs> <laughs> what does he do in the shower? Some people meditate, oh, yeah. right? Yeah, some, some people, people work out, yeah. right, to deal with whatever anxieties or thoughts they have. Me. I actually sit and truly try to convince myself <laughs> that I have lost one of the five most important people in my life, and that is the biggest thing i do that leads to the biggest happiness i have bro it's like it's like why you can achieve the same thing by just like spending time with those people just spending time with yeah exactly or just like text or calling your parents being like i love you or try playing a video game or something that makes me pretty happy yeah it's like I'm just picturing him like every time he just like sees a loved one of his, he just breaks down and cries. He's like, "Oh my god, I can't believe it. you're alive! <laughs> yeah, you're alive!" He genuinely convinces himself every time that they got yeah. shot in the face, <laughs> and he sees them at a it's family like... reunion. <laughs> Yo, my god, it's a miracle! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> He's back from the dead. This is so crazy, Dad. <laughs> oh my! It's like gosh. Gary. You do this every time, Gary, baby. And it's so funny when you look at the comments and likes and, like, there's not a single person that thinks that it's, like, absolutely insane. Literally, everyone is just like, yep, I do this all the time. All the time. <laughs> so, so imagine watching that video and then immediately getting up and being like, yep, going to start doing that. <laughs> yep. Some people uh, some people meditate. 
I genuinely picture <laughs> that my mom is dead. And that sort of fills me with joy. <laughs> and that sort of what sets me, me on my... Uh, is my <laughs> just imagining the thought of my fucking dead mom. <laughs> he's something else, man. He's like... He's like... That's that, I feel like that's what like hu- like actual like being in genuine like hustle culture like does to you. It's like you yeah. can't have like a genuine like human relationship with anyone. So you have to go to an extreme to actually feel something. Maybe I don't know, maybe that's why like people who get so big in in social media <clears throat> become such psychopaths cuz they're just <laughs> right. They, they you know, they get so ingrained in like hustle mode that they just become detached from what normal yeah like what being a person is which i feel like is the best part about being able to do i mean from my short-lived experience the best part about being able to do this as a job is being Mm -hmm. able to interact with the people that actually like like your work which is why i like streaming so much and why i do it so much is because it's like right a home base to to like talk to people every night and it's like for sure yeah. yeah it does feel not it's like a yeah, because I feel like without, because I found that with Twitch too, it's like even without that, it's like, obviously you can read like YouTube comments and stuff, yeah. but it doesn't feel like it's, like with Twitch, it's like when people come back and stuff and you like recognize names, you're yeah. like, oh, I fucking, I, I remember you and shit, which is, I don't know, it's sick. Yeah, Especially yeah. with like, uh, that's how I felt with like touring and stuff. That was like mm. the dream, man. It was like actually meeting people in real life. Yeah. Um, But I, I fucking, I haven't done that in a while. Yeah, I'm um, scared. I'm scared about that stuff. Once if if it gets to the point where I have to go to in person things, that scares yeah. me. I like staying online. <laughs> but I like obviously I want to meet people and I want to like experience For sure. that stuff. But at the same time, I'm like, it's gonna freak me out. Yeah. Have you ever done live performances, like live, um, live shows of any sort? I I used to do a lot more music, um, and in right. high school, and then like going into college, I. I was in a band and so I do like right. live music, but, but like, in mm. a, I haven't done anything like that in so long. At some point I definitely right. want to, but for sure. Yeah. It's, uh, yeah, it's going to be so weird. Cause I was, I was doing it so frequently before COVID. It was like every month I'd have like yeah. another like tour, like little tour that I was doing. So it's going to be so weird going back. It's going to be like my fucking, I'm doing a wildlife speed run all over again. I'm going to be rusty, dude. Yeah, dude. You're not going to, yeah. And just like that, you're going to fall on your face. And Yeah. And I'm going to rage quit. I'm going to rage quit stand-up comedy. You're going to ra- you're gonna raid someone else with your stand-up audience. <laughs> yeah. Come on, guys. Right, we're going to check out this guy. We're going to go down the road. We're going to watch this uh, smaller, <laughs> Everyone, smaller comedian. They all walk down the sidewalk <laughs> with each other. <laughs> In single file. Yeah. Um, to go to the, the smaller comedian. Yeah, I think I think stand up is one of my worst like fears. Like I never want to do it. <laughs> and, and oh, I, really? Yeah, and I don't know like how you or any other any stand up comedian like get. I feel like you all are psychos. Just or at least yeah. if or at least the people who. Um, and I know you've been in the same position, so you, like you experienced it. But like I get it when you want to go out in front of an audience of people that know you. And that could, yeah. that seems like it's something I could do, but like For being sure. a stand up comedian and like going to shows where no one knows you and has no and have no reason to laugh is like my worst fear. Like I'd never do that. Yeah, as it should be. It's fucking terrifying, man. Yeah. It's like probably like top ten worst. If I had to do it now, I, I think I'd honestly rather chop my toes off. It sucks. Yeah, it fucking <laughs> yeah. sucks. It was like, dude, literally starting out and like going to shows in like basements of bars and there was only like 10 other comics there who also wanted to go on yeah. stage or in the audience it's like it's probably the most discouraging thing you could ever yeah. do to yourself and just like on an emotional level like a creative level it's just it's a nightmare so i'm very lucky that now i just have to just say that i'm gonna i'm gonna be in this city and you can come see me if you want and then and you're gonna laugh <laughs> and then you're gonna laugh hopefully because you, you like me yeah, yeah i i would never ever want to do that and i I like I very much uh think that the people who do are very like strong <laughs> strong people or like or like yeah. I don't know it's it's good to know that I I just don't I just can't imagine people wanting wanting it that bad to like to do something like that cuz like 
the only thing right. I've experienced close to that is being in like I had to experience the starting parts of streaming where I was like street where you just had to like deal with day after day of talking to nobody and just like yeah. one person would come in and say like one word and then you just sit there and be talking to nobody and that's like you're just sitting at your computer playing a video game and like you don't have you're not you're not relying on like watching right. somebody react to what you're about to say so it's yeah. like it sucks but i feel like it's maybe 50 to 100 times worse when you yeah. have, like if i had a to play a video game on stage yeah. <laughs> and i'm looking yeah. at three people in the audience <laughs> And, and be entertaining to, yeah and trying to keep them from walking out the door right it's like yeah i know it's it's sort of a weird thing even when i think about like i feel like when i was starting out i was like being a youtuber was like still kind of like not a thing that you could really do like yeah. i don't know it was like it was like 2013 so obviously youtube has been a thing for a while but it wasn't like it was now mm-hmm um so even then i was like well i have to do stand-up i think that's the only way i can be funny (laughs) so i just like started and then like found youtube but i don't know i miss it so much and i'm it's gonna be weird when i go back but fuck it okay yeah seriously um well you're are you like you i mean fucking america's like doing so much better with covid now i feel like shows are gonna be a thing soon i think so i mean i'm getting my Second Moderni shot one week from today. So in three Clutch. weeks, I should be fully vaxxed up and ready to go. But, like, most people I know are, like, fully vaxxed and ready to get out Damn. there. Ready to rock and roll. Yeah, which is crazy. And you're still <laughs> – your hair is still getting and insulted yep. stream after stream. Just getting uh, just getting the absolute piss kicked out of me. And uh, and I'm involuntary. Involuntarily, I'm, uh, I'm an anti-vaxer, I guess, because yeah. I don't have mine yet. I, I I'm I'm all for vaccines, but no. But on paper, proof is, yeah. you're an anti-vaxer because <laughs> I'm still not. Well, I mean, yeah, if you're healthy and young, you don't need it, right? Yeah, I saw. I watched Joe Rogan. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I've been watching him. I'm watching him right now, actually. <laughs> hey, it's hard to keep okay. up with. He does so many episodes <laughs> that I can't really keep up on a daily basis, on a that's, daily V uh, basis. So yeah. <laughs> I'm usually watching. I'm watching my daily V's and my Joe Rogies off and my phone off to the side. That's pretty usually disrespectful. Yeah. If you ask me. No, yeah, it is. No, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, as long as you know that it's, uh, you know, really hurting my feelings, then I guess it's all good. Um, I would. Uh, yeah. Of course, I know that. Um, let's let's switch up the subject a little bit. Hit all the right. button. I'm pressing. I gotta find it. I think it you're. I, f- I could tell you're about to press it. Oh. Got it. Can you hear that? Okay. <laughs> All right. We're changing the subject. Um. So you uh do you like um do you like animated films? They're gonna ask me if I liked anime. And then, you know, <laughs> switch, let's switch. <laughs> <laughs> I just started answering that question. <laughs> yeah, fuck off. Don't tell me don't tell me what I'm gonna ask you. <laughs> I thought you were gonna ask her like anime and Oh yeah. No, I was thinking oh, you're about ask that. You an anime, huh? <laughs> almost not to not to actually switch the question, but every time I stream, every single time someone asks me at least once or twice a st- there's like a set number of questions that I get asked, but one of the ones yeah. that is always asked is, Do you like anime? And I, and I have to answer it so many times that every time so I ask it, someone in my chat will, like, break out the spiel that I usually say, which is, like, I I watched it at the very beginning of high school, and I don't really watch TV anymore, so I haven't watched it since. I don't mind right. it. I enjoyed it when I watched it. I don't anymore. So don't recommend anything. Oh, why? why is that such a common question? I don't know. Question? It's do you like anime? Please play Genshin Impact. Um, yep. <laughs> yeah, you, I'm sure you've heard that one. <laughs> well, what did you study in college? Um, right. How old are you and what time is it where you are, I think, are okay. like the main ones. And are you Canadian? Everyone thinks I'm Canadian. Oh, really? And it might. And I think half of the people, it's because of you, but there's a lot of new people that come in who don't know I'm, like, connected to you and, like, just right. think I give off Canadian vibes. And I was oh, like... weird. And I get it. No. Ma- like, literally every stream. Like, so much more than you'd expect. You're just an yep. anime-loving canadian man that's kind of your brand <laughs> i love anime and i love justin trudeau <laughs> so yeah he needs to come up with his own anime that'd be um, epic 
Yeah, but I love uh, I love animated films. My favorite movie is okay. The Incredibles. That's good. Good taste. That's a great movie. Yeah. Um. Well, who's your favorite character in The Incredibles? Elastigirl. Easy. <laughs> okay. Absolutely. No question. <laughs> no question. I mean, why um, would you ask me that? <laughs> um. Okay. Well, do you have a favorite? animated father um, perhaps huh what well, which which ones come to mind um either from one... like a pixar movie or like an anime like yeah. whatever you watch on a regular basis <laughs> the only one that pops into my head at the moment is uh the dad from inside out eddie burbat yeah right because that's what we all want him to do to us <laughs> yeah just go inside, inside and out, out. <laughs> okay yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay let's see where you're going with it uh so, the New York Times wrote an article that I want to show you. We can discuss a little, a little briefly. I thought it was pretty funny. Um, the title of it is, Are Animated Dads Getting Hotter? Uh, an Investigation. <laughs> what? Um, what is this written by? And honestly, it's a pretty good question. This is by Kyle Buchanan. <laughs> horny, horny journalist. <laughs> horny Kyle. And he got horny, horny. He's a pop culture reporter. Okay, pop culture reporter, and serves as the projectionist. Huh? Wait, what are his other? Uh, See, it doesn't seem like he usually writes about anime dads getting hotter. Could you you imagine every other article? Like, (laughs) how big is Mister Incredible's cock? (laughs) Everything. Do you think the dad dad from Inside Out will date me? (laughs) Could I be an animated dad? Do you think? Um, Turn me into an animated dad. I uh, wish my dad was animated. Um, <laughs> so they're showing a screenshot from yeah. Raya and the Last Dragon. And I got to say, he's a so, uh, he's a stone cold hunk. Yeah, he's he's at least A tier, if not S. Yeah. Um, and that's interesting because, uh, yeah, we got the dad <laughs> from Inside yeah, Out. Yeah, got to have him. He's there. Um, even this guy. <laughs> That's okay. I mean, we're getting in, bl- in <laughs> yeah. mu- muddy waters, but I I do agree. I think this guy sort of added himself as a furry, but it's all yeah, good. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. I guess the main thing is like back in the you know back in the um, the old uh, old Disney movies, right? Yeah. Like I guess they weren't really that hot because you couldn't really do them like as detailed. Yeah. So I wonder if like that was their original intention was for like all (laughs) all Pixar dads to be hot, but the technology just wasn't there yet, you know. Well, Finding Nemo was one of the first ones, and you mean Marlin, so that was kind of like a. Oh, he was pretty hot. Yeah. Is that his name, Marlin? That's a fish name. Marlin. Marlin. Yeah, his name is Marlin. Why would they name him that? Because. Because he's a fish. That's not the fish type he is, though. Yeah, he's a clownfish, clown right? Fish. So right. why would they name him Marlin? Why would they name him? Yeah. Yeah, what the hell? Are there Marlins right. in Nemo? But if I look that up, it's just going to show me pictures of the dad. <laughs> True. What uh, are... Okay, I'm going to search Disney dads. Because I'm thinking like... Okay. Actually, okay. They've actually all been pretty handsome. You know? Yeah. Uh, like Simba's... <laughs> Simba's dad. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, I wasn't know that's where you're gonna or, go with that. But... Or, I, or no, that's not what I said. I mean, Hercules' dad, the Zeus. Is his dad? Zeus? Yeah, Zeus. Also, the Poseidon from Little Mermaid. Oh yeah. He had his yetis out. He was, he was ready to go. I've done um, one of these Disney, one of these tier lists of Disney dads before. Um, right. So I think, okay. You have the dad. I'm trying from, to think of like from Brave. Sorry, there's the dad from oh, Brave. Oh yeah, he he's not really. He's more of a Viking kind of guy. The Pinocchio, the guy who makes Pinocchio. <laughs> <laughs> he's a daddy for sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's like a conscious thing at like Disney to be like hotter, make them hotter because like it has to come up, up a... right? Yeah. Yeah, it's someone like is is there a Disney dad that could be like could it ever be too hot? Like, do they ever like dial it back? You think? 
<laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> they're they're in the it, studio. They're like, you got it. You got to bring back the. You got to bring it back just a little bit. We can't do this right now. <laughs> like we keep. Hey man, <laughs> this happens with every movie you've done. This you've yeah. you've animated this huge bulge on this guy, <laughs> and it's and it's unnecessary. But I mean, when you think of like Space Jam and stuff, and like other car like lola bunny you know what do they do all... to her? what do they do to yeah. our lola bunny dude they're everyone's too pl- dude gary v was right <laughs> was he said it. <laughs> so you're politically, too politically correct. correct you're very politically correct it's... i think about in the shower every day that lola bunny is ugly <laughs> and it gives me the motivation and that she got shot so, in the uh... face <laughs> picture me shooting lola bunny in the face <laughs> Yeah, they. Um, you remember when they put the articles out about Lola Bunny and how like how they changed how she looked, but the photo that they used from like the before photo was was like this this like fan made photo of her oh, looking like super sexy, yeah. <laughs> and so everyone yeah. was like, "This is so drastic and huge," but like it was this literal <laughs> like fan art like, of her. She never looked like that. Yeah, in the first place. <laughs> just some horny dude it's probably fucking this kyle buchanan guy who made that picture in the first place <laughs> yeah horny cartoon man he's like i already have a picture of lola bunny from before let me just throw that on there <laughs> yeah i have it's actually on my wall right now yeah um did you catch uh did you catch elon musk on snl i caught a couple of clips um i was upset <laughs> yeah i i feel that i'm like i'm in the like i'm not the biggest snl fan like i don't think it's that funny um like anything with kyle mooney is great he's hilarious Mm -hmm. even if the sketch isn't good he's funny but yeah and like pete davidson is cool but um yeah i'm not the biggest fan but like i don't know dude i don't know why they're getting like it's i don't know why they're getting a fucking a billionaire on there to be like i'm one of you (laughs) I'm, i'm just like every one of you and the, right. and besides that, like the whole the Gen Z thing, you know, it speaks for itself. The whole hospital sketch, it's just like, oh my gosh, yeah, <sighs> it's painful. I I watched <laughs> we were watching it on stream because like I was I was I was streaming while it was going on and I didn't want to watch it. And but Jarvis was in my chat like like updating me on every sketch and how in pain <laughs> he was. It's so like after we yeah. finished and they started uploading it to YouTube, we watched the Gen Z hospital thing and like. I, I went oh, man. halfway through. I just started putting on two times speed because I was like, it, "It's the thing. Yeah. The thing with like SNL s- sketches at this point is like, once you get to one third through it, like you know what the joke is for the rest of it. Yeah, you get it. And like every sketch, I feel like is it starts. It's like a normal normal scenario. Bring in something weird, and then rinse and mm-hmm. repeat the weird thing, and make it more weird every right. time, and then end on like something coming out of nowhere, and then everyone claps. Right. And that's SNL, yeah. yeah. And that's exactly what happened, right? Yeah, I. I mean, I guess they only get people who are like get views. Like they're essentially just clickbaiting their fucking yeah. show. It's like, oh, you're gonna watch it because Elon Musk is in it, right? And that was the first um, time I've seen I've watched SNL in probably over a year. So they win, right? So it works, <laughs> yeah. As usual, yeah. I don't know. It's a. Uh... I didn't even. I watched the one like it's like Super Mario sketch or something where he yeah. was dressed up like Wario, and it was like it's. Come on, guys. <laughs> I was like, what? Let's what figure what, it out. Yeah. What are we doing here? Grimes was in it as Princess Peach. Did you see? Did right. you get to that? Yeah. Oh my gosh. Did you? Speaking of speaking of outrage marketing, um, mm-hmm. so there was this TikTok I saw that was this guy who was talking about the new i i know you've you've mentioned it on here it was the uh hype house like netflix show and i don't know how you feel about this this tiktok or whatever because someone tagged someone tagged like all these commentary youtubers in and i got mentioned in this tiktok and it was like Mm -hmm. um this guy who was like whatever you do guys when netflix comes out with the hype house show don't click on it don't talk about it he's like don't do it and he was like so he was like so pissed and this thing got huge and he was like he was like we don't mention it he's like this is what they want we need to let netflix know that like we 
don't want this kind of content. He's like, don't, <laughs> he's like, don't make videos about it. Don't even click on it. He's like, just, just ignore it all together. And like, I don't know how you feel about that kind of stuff. But when I watch it, I'm like, dude, there's nothing you do, no matter how big this TikTok gets. <laughs> Yeah. When people do stuff like that, like people probably did the same thing about the Elon Musk thing. They're like, don't watch us, no, blah, blah. Everyone's right. going to watch it. People are going to talk gonna about it. it. So you commentary YouTubers are going to make videos about it. Yeah. It's like, no matter what, you're, you know, it's going to make money. If the people got paid. Yeah. People are going to watch it. Also, hey, just the fact, just the act of making that video himself is bringing yeah. attention to it. The exact opposite of what he wants. Don't talk about the Hype House show that I'm talking about right now. And I just got so many views. So, you know, if you make the same video, you'll get a lot of views too. (laughs) But please, let this be the last one. Last and only one. (laughs) Everyone after (laughs) after this point, don't speak about the video. I will get the clicks off of it. Except for me. Yeah. I will be talking about the show going forward, but no one else... Yeah, no imagine, if, imagine if he took his own advice and he just like sat at home angry <laughs> like like everyone <laughs> keeps talking about it but he doesn't want to mention it to give it more <laughs> he's just like guys mm, no he's like guys you dot, you're not listening to me and they're like about what about what he's like <laughs> mm, no i can't say it <laughs> i'm not gonna say it, it starts with the letter after it. g <laughs> it like, rhymes with pipe mouse <laughs> i can't say it (laughs) yeah but i don't know when it comes to that kind of stuff it's like um there's such a massive uh amount of people who see that stuff and go after it i don't know if there will ever be a movement that will be big enough to stop that because the moment it gets big enough to stop it it the it becomes about the show and then the show's popular again you know if you get exactly. everyone to agree not to watch Hype House, everyone's going to hear about everyone not watching Hype House, and then people are going to watch Hype House. And then they go watch it. So you can't win. People are going to yeah. watch it. Yeah. It's on, like, the biggest streaming service in the world. People are going to fucking watch it. So Yeah. Maybe, I'm, gonna, I'm probably going to... I'll probably watch it. I'll probably make a fucking video about it, man. I can't... I, I mean, can't I, well, I, I'm going to watch that video. I, I'm really excited. I'd be very excited <laughs> to watch a video about it. And Yeah, if anyone may. Yeah, exactly. I don't know. Yeah, but no one else. Okay, only we're allowed to talk yeah. about it, and we're, no one else can. We're gonna make a video. We're both gonna make a video about it mm-hmm. at the same time, and it'll be the same script. Yeah, same shot for shot. Um, but do you think if you did something like that, like like two YouTubers, commentary YouTubers, like same like you and Danny, someone of like you know same same like audience. And you guys made yeah. the same exact video, shot for shot, script for script. <laughs> I wonder if that video would do like better than a normal video just because of like everyone in your audience realizing that you guys did the same exact video and you posted the same exact time. Right. Like same thumbnail and yeah. everything. Ad read. It'd be interesting <laughs> to try. So the, yeah. ad, I feel like it would do better than than like not to say that yeah. it's like not to say that like, a normal video that you'd like work uh, like originally on. Yeah. Yeah, I feel man. like it'd do better than your crappy normal. I feel like it'd normal. do better if you had help from someone with more <laughs> <laughs> subscribers. Yeah. Actually, there was one time where Danny and Drew put out a video about swiped on like the same day. Oh yeah, where I was scripting one too, and then I stopped for some reason and I picked a different video. But originally, it was going to go up on the same day. Um, <laughs> But I, but I didn't. But both their videos did like, it's like pretty well. Yeah. But they were just like, I don't know. But there was one week also where I made a video about Justin Bieber and like when he put out Yummy. Um, and I was like, as soon as it happened, I was like, this is great for a video. Yeah. Fucking, it's f- scripted it, filmed it, edited it. Um, and like the day I was about to upload, uh, fucking, I'm Alex put a video up about it, and then. Then Danny put a video about it. It was like an hour after the other. I was like, fuck. <laughs> and then I had to put it up like an hour after that. I was like, yeah, I'm fucking. I'm also talking about this. Yeah. I don't know. Have you? That's like the worst feeling. <laughs> I know. I feel like that would, especially, I mean, at least if it's an hour after, you're like, everyone's not going to be like, I mean, everyone in the comments is going to be like, oh, Danny just put up a video about this. 
but yeah. like at least no one's gonna claim that you copied it because there's i've heard people like right someone will post a video like a day after and they're like you copied this guy's idea and it's like you know how yeah. long it takes <laughs> for you to throw yeah, one of these I things can't... together yeah i can make a video in a fucking day man kidding uh, have you i s- wish have you seen that guy the guy on tiktok i made a video about him the other week that ben Telect guy who laughs at has the tweets behind him and laughs oh yeah i don't know if you saw what i what i i posted this thing youtube sent me but he tried to copy do a copyright takedown on my video and oh i think i did see yeah that. yeah and the in youtube sends the whole report so like i get yeah i get like his his like llc name his like legal name and then i get the full note he wrote youtube about the thing yeah and it's like the funniest thing because he's just like <laughs> trying to explain why like he should get my whole video like completely taken down like he doesn't even want the copyright money he just wants it gone oh he just wants it down and like it's also funny because i've learned that he like watched the whole video because he gave them like 15 timestamps of every time i put a clip of his video in and so oh, i was like no. i was and then youtube messaged him back and was like no and then he sent another email and then they messaged him about back again and he was like they were like no still he still is fine and so i just think <laughs> it's so funny that he had to watch my whole video and then i Holy got to shit. see everything he typed and then yeah that's like because they don't know i don't think people know that i didn't know it until i got the the email and i was so happy because it's hilarious yeah he goes i got one uh sorry you can oh he goes he says he says also the this uh here I, i think i can find it but uh he says this this creator was hating on my videos is one of the reasons that he um is that one of the reasons oh here we go um yeah here we go he says Hello, the user is not only using my work from YouTube, but also from TikTok. A large part of the video is content that I created, including videos from the video sharing app Cameo and screen recordings of my social media accounts. About half the content in the users in the video is my work. This user is also hating on my content and promoting that to his subscribers as well. So it does not serve the same purpose as my content does, which I feel like almost makes it more transformative because I'm not, you know, he's, he's saying that my videos, since my videos aren't serving the same purpose like i'm not using his videos right to make people laugh i guess i was yeah. like i guess that's kind of better because then i'm like kind of transforming the world to... which is what they want you to do and then yeah he puts in the user also uses my content in the following timestamps and then like literally lists like 10 different timestamps. oh no i still feel this video should be removed and want it to be looked into further and then they just sent him an email and we're like no yeah it takes it takes a certain type of fucking idiot to copyright claim someone as their own content when all they do is read other people's content. Yeah. Like literally Holy the shit. video he sent as like the content that was stolen was just like, it's just like the thumbnail is him with a big tweet of someone else's behind his head. All right. Holy shit. That's ridiculous, man. People like that. I, it's always so funny. Have you seen those clips on TikTok where people will like just crop the videos of like when people are like pointing at a tweet or something or like yeah oh yeah and, and it's just and them they like just crop it yeah <laughs> it's, it's just so like funny. 15 seconds <laughs> yeah that's just so crazy funny. that shit kills me every time yeah i got a copyright claim when i made the video about dr witnesser oh, and it yeah. showed like and it put like everything he said in the email that's so funny he was like he was like genuinely confused, I guess. He was like, if I generate original content on my YouTube page, people are allowed to take that video and use it in their own video? <laughs> He's like legitimately asking. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm actually wondering, is that okay? Oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't yeah. realize. Oh, uh, okay. Sorry. That's, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I guess it's kind of awesome, man. Uh, yeah, he was like, he said Connor took clips from my Connor. content from my YouTube page and used it in his video, not only to criticize me, but to also defame me. He's Holy taking shit. My fame yeah. From me. You can't criticize me. How dare you? That's against the law. <laughs> that's what, yeah, that's what your merch says. You can't criticize me. It's against the law. <laughs> it's, it's against the law. Yeah, people are fucking dumb online. But that's how we have jobs. Uh, so it's kind of, so it's like they're the Joker, we're the, the Batman, or the other way around, the necessary 
evil, yeah, you know? I'll be I'll be either, honestly. Preferably the Joker, yeah, I, though. Yeah, because he, ha- yeah, he, he has, like, pretty epic quotes. <laughs> yeah. You've seen them. Oh, no, I've yeah. seen a few. Can you believe that they yeah. put... This is this is old news, but that they put the the for the Justice League, uh, trailer they that the Joker. Oh, says we live in a society? society. I mean, I know that's another another thing. We're falling for it. Outrage marketing. They put it in there because yeah. they knew we would be talking about it. But like, wow! <laughs> I knew. Not, yeah. Like, just imagine how many people would have to like green light that. It's probably just Zack Snyder. Like, we're doing it. But like, yeah, how many people it went through that were probably just like what are we doing <laughs> honestly it's probably the best decision they've ever made is yeah. to have them say that they definitely um, made, got more views and more people yeah. talking about it because of that but like sheesh if, if they did a, a joker like a cinematic joker if it was just like with those obnoxious he only spoke in like those weird oh, yeah. joker quotes yeah, watch i watched awesome. the, the crap out of that if it was just fucking hold on i want to find some joker quotes I started using Pinterest recently <laughs> and yeah, I just, you know, I wanted to explore it. Cause I like, it just is this thing that like is confusing to me and my girlfriend uses it a lot. And I was like, I'm just going to dive into it and see what happens. And I have a Pinterest board. I've been like creating all these Pinterest boards, pretty fun. And I created one mm-hmm. that's called awesome super villains. And it's just, all, nice. it's just only the Joker quotes. <laughs> it's just all pictures of the Joker. And it's freaking awesome. That's, yeah, that sounds awesome. Yeah, I need new haters. The old ones became my fans. I love yeah, that, that was, part yeah, of the, that the was Dark Knight. Yeah, that was in the Dark Knight when he walked out of the when he walked out of the hospital. <laughs> he mumbles yeah. that under his breath. <laughs> you know, like when the hospital blows up and he's waiting for the second explosion, he turns to the yeah. camera and he says that. I need new haters. The old ones become my fans, and he presses <laughs> the button, and then he jumps in the bus <laughs> and they go away. <laughs> Yeah, when Batman's got him pinned up against the wall, he's like, maturity is when you realize self-respect is greater than love. <laughs> That's like, my favorite oh, scene of the movie. Okay. Um, like, All right, man, I think we got the wrong guy. Here, Here's one. Never hide your bad side to make someone stay. Show your <laughs> bad side and see who can stay. Oh, sheesh. Imagine Damn. that. Whenever you, guys, whenever you start a new relationship, Show, get yeah. all the toxic parts of yourself out there and see who's willing to stick around. <laughs> yeah. Never stop learning because life never stopped teaching. Yeah. Boys want That's... attention. Men want respect. Legends just don't care. Yeah. Yeah, only the only the Joker could speak speak facts like that. That was actually in the movie Joker when he's sitting next to Rob, Robert De Niro. <laughs> 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 And then he shoots him in that, and then he shoots him in the face. <laughs> <laughs> he went all Gary V on him. Every morning I sit in the shower, and for five minutes I imagine Joaquin Phoenix shooting Robert De Niro in the face. <laughs> and that sort of gets me going. Yeah, and I come out of the shower happier than ever. <laughs> Daily V style. Yeah, I'm um, all right. Well, what are we? We've been going for a freaking hour, dude. Dude, this is a long. Holy moly! A long cast.